Hey guys, welcome to the session by K21 Academy. So we are going to discuss about the roles and responsibilities of an AWS solution architect. Also guys, before moving on to this session, please subscribe to our channel so that you will never miss an update on our upcoming videos. Now let us take a quick glance at the agenda. So firstly, we will be seeing who is a solution architect and then we will be seeing who is an AWS solutions architect. And then we will be seeing what are the roles and responsibilities of an AWS solutions architect. Post that, we will be understanding how to become an AWS solutions architect. And then we will be seeing what are the job trends and salary trends of an AWS solutions architect. And finally, at the end, we will be going through the certification details of AWS solutions architect. Now let us see who is an AWS solutions architect. So before talking about AWS solutions architect, let us see who is a solution architect. So a solution architect is responsible for the design of one or more applications or services within an organization, right? So he or she would be the part of solution development team, right? So he or she must have a balanced mix of technical and business skills and will often work with an enterprise architect for strategic direction. So the main focus is on technical decisions being made regarding the solution and how they impact the business outcomes, right? Then the rest of the development team will use the information to implement the solution. So generally, solution architects focus on how technology can be used to solve a given business problem, which framework or platform or a tech stack can be used to create a solution, how will the applications look and what will be the modules and how they interact with each other, how things will scale for the future and how they will be maintained, figuring out the risk in third party frameworks or platforms and finding a solution to the business problem. Now you might be wondering who is an AWS solutions architect? So will you be able to help groups understand application architectures and integration approaches? Do you like helping customers implementing innovative cloud computing solutions? For applications, servers and networks, are you familiar with security best practices? So as a solution architect within AWS, you will have an opportunity to help shape and deliver on a strategy to build broad use of Amazon's utility computing web services like AWS EC2, AWS S3, AWS RDS and AWS CloudFront directly with the customers and Amazon's ecosystem of system integrators and solution providers. Now let us discuss what are the roles and responsibilities of an AWS solutions architect. So the main role of an AWS solutions architect is to help you deploy your applications onto the AWS platform. Now this is nothing but a cloud computing platform. So it is not to say that you can't deploy your applications on the cloud computing platform yourself. It is just that when it comes to organizations, the applications that you need to deploy become a whole lot more complex. So that's where an AWS solution architect can help. Ever since cloud computing became a thing, Companies around the world have started migrating their physical infrastructure onto the cloud. So that's what an AWS Solutions Architect does. So they help you migrate your physical infrastructure onto the AWS cloud. Companies around the world work on a budget and an AWS Solutions Architect will help you design a cloud infrastructure based on the organization's budget. So before that can be done, however, an AWS Solutions Architect has to create a design with an intricate and detailed blueprint of the cloud infrastructure that they plan to set up. Now AWS solutions architects also have to mainly focus on non-functional requirements like usability, reliability, scalability and performance of the cloud infrastructure. They are also responsible when it comes to minimizing risks that an organization can face when it comes to cloud computing platforms. Now they could face risks like security leaks, calculation mistakes and application downtimes. So an AWS solutions architect has to ensure that these things don't happen. Now let's try to understand how to become an AWS Solutions Architect. Now let us have a look at the required skills. So these skills are taken from the job descriptions. So these were the most asked skills for AWS Solutions Architect. So obviously for an AWS Solutions Architect, the first skill would be AWS skills. So you should know and you should have a deep understanding of AWS concepts, AWS services and everything else. How to create an architecture, how an AWS architecture works, the best practices in AWS. So all of this should be deeply understood. And then problem solving skills. So this skill is required for most of the jobs in the world, right? But for a solutions architect, as you have to provide a constant solution every day for all the client needs. So you need to have a problem solving skills too. And the third skill is Linux and Unix. 
So lot of softwares and websites are hosted on Linux based systems. And you should know cell scripting and other Linux based operations so that you can survive as an AWS solutions architect, right? And then secure and cost optimized architectures. So you should be able to build a secure and cost optimized architecture at the same time. So your architecture or your website should not be able to be breached by a hacker or an attacker. They should be secure enough, right? So that the data is not leaked and your website is safe enough. And finally, programming languages. So programming languages is an added benefit for any technical role you take. But for an AWS solutions architect, as he is building an architecture, if an application is going to be run, let us take it as Java application. So he should understand what run times are, what environment changes he has to make or he has to add so that this Java application can run on that. So same with any programming languages he knows. So it is same with any programming languages. So for example, a Python application or a Ruby application, whatever application it is. So he should be able to understand how this particular application is going to be run on the cloud system. Now let us discuss about AWS Solutions Architect certification. And then most importantly, you will need an AWS Solutions Architect certification, right? So learning these skills is not a problem. But when you attend an interview, they are not going to check what is on your head or what skills do you have. They will be checking at that instance, what is on your resume? And if you have an AWS Solutions Architect certification on your resume, they will understand that you have cleared the exam and you have enough knowledge to take up the job. So what is the format of this AWS Solutions Architect certification exam? So the format is MCQs and the type is associate. So there is one more type that is professional, but for a professional AWS Solutions Architect certification exam, you should have at least three years experience in cloud domain. So the first certification you can take is Solutions Architect Associate. So after taking that, the delivery method will be testing center nearby in your city. And then maximum time available for you to complete this exam is 130 minutes. And the cost for particular certification exam is 150 USD, right? So you can also take multiple practice exams and each of the exam cost 20 USD. And the particular exam is available in four different languages, English, Japanese, Korean, and simplified Chinese. Now, what does this particular certification exam validate? Because if interviewer is seeing your resume and he checks that AWS Solution Architect certification has been completed, so he should know how big and how much valuable is that particular certification. So this certification exam is structured in a way that it validates all of these. So the first one effectively demonstrates the knowledge of how to architect, deploy, secure and robust applications on the AWS technology. So they will ask you multiple case studies and different types of application questions that will demonstrate your knowledge on how to architect and deploy secure and robust applications. And then define a solution using architectural design principles based on customer requirements. So the questions will also be based on user requirements and you will have to combine user requirements and architectural design principles to provide a solution. And finally, provide the implementation guidance based on the best practices to the organizations throughout the lifecycle of the project. A huge organization will have DevOps lifecycle installed in them. So the DevOps lifecycle will go from plan till monitoring and come back to the plan again. So that DevOps lifecycle should also be hosted on the cloud system. Now this particular solutions architect should be able to provide the implementation guidance based on the best practices. There might be a DevOps lifecycle already running, but to improve that, there is always something to improve in your organization and in your DevOps lifecycle to make the process faster and make it better. You should provide implementation guidance based on the best practices that AWS provides. Now let us discuss the job trends and salary details of an AWS solutions architect. According to Glassdoor, in just the last month, there have been 5,765 different jobs posted in India. And also in the United States, it is 33,272 different jobs on cloud architects. According to Forbes, cloud architects is the Forbes top 15 list of highest paying technical job. So you can see both are legitimate institutions, right? And they have provided statistics, which can back up my claim that is AWS solutions architect, which is one of the best technical roles that you can take up. So according to Payscale, the average salary of an AWS solutions architect in US is $1,13,506 per year. And in India, the average salary of an AWS Solutions Architect is 
12 lakh 19,062 rupees per year. So we have put down everything about the certification, including the basic concepts that one should know everything like design resilient architectures, design high performing architectures, design secure applications and architectures, and design cost optimized architectures. So in this training, we take you from basic to advanced level along with the tips and resources for clearing the certification exam. We also have a separate team working for CV preparation and on-job support. So if you want to become an AWS Certified Solution Architect Associate and want to learn right from basics to expert level, then we have a comprehensive step-by-step -step training for you that includes hands-on labs including the exam preparation and most important part, one year on-job support. So if you are interested in this program, I would highly recommend you to attend the free class which covers most of the topics like why and who should learn AWS, cloud service deployment models and AWS services, demo on creating S3 bucket and making data available to the entire world and many other topics. So if you are interested in this free class, you can visit k21academy.com slash AWS SA02. You can also find this link in the description.